just finished the seam taping on the right wing. I'm so excited with the last exception of the aileron. So I have to tape, cover, and seam tape this bad boy three inches on the leading edge, two inches on the trailing, just like I did over here. But seam tape is on. And I did use three inch, kind of covered it. There's one little spot down there but I think it looks pretty good. So, excited about that. A couple little spots I just have to tape over or to make sure the glue's on there really good, but the paint will probably um, fill in the cracks on a lot of that stuff and seal it up for whatever's not, but pretty, pretty pumped. I just want this right wing done. I want to move to the left wing. <laughs> wrinkly but uh, did it in three pieces um, you don't have to do it all in one big sheet uh, in fact the uh, unless you're going to use a lot of fabric you kind of have to do it in pieces so I probably should have done it maybe in two pieces but that's okay um, this this piece right here is a third but it'll work just the trick is is gluing it down really good so that when you do iron it which I'm going to do in here in a couple minutes that it won't pull away too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the last thing. Well, second to last thing, I'm gonna cut the holes for the brackets underneath the airplane and um, attach the, 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 the um, push-pull tube cover, and that's it. Moving on to the left wing. Here's a bit, uh, soldering iron video. Just show you what it looks like to, to put the holes in. So once it focuses there, you just kind of burn the hole like that. And again, uh, Tom has a video of this with uh, the kids doing it. And the last hole, it's a little hard to find, but again, you just look for the hinge. The hinge is right there. Careful not to burn the fabric. And that's what it looks like. Pretty simple. Hello again, YouTube. Just a quick update video on the aileron. Again, right wing. I came off a five day stretch. It's a few days to Christmas and uh, trying to get a little bit of time and I've got nine days off from work at Delta. Uh, so putting together this uh, aileron, I did the other side and now this is the, um, the bottom side. So you can see I've glued those sections but not these. So um, yeah, it's coming together. Uh, this is uh, the last of the aileron here and then once uh, well no actually got to do the seam tapes so the two inch seam tapes two and three on the trailing edge leading edge and then I still have to cut the holes for the brackets um, so it's coming along So it's up here. A couple things I did just differently is I went ahead and I put that on. Doesn't look the greatest yet, but uh, it took a lot of glue, especially that side. You can see it, a lot of glue to put that on there. And um, 
you know, I need to iron it. I did iron it once, but um, uh, I'll probably re try to re-glue it and iron it. And again, at the end of the day, it's going to be painted, so um, I think it looks better than just the hole and the thing coming out of the hole. But I don't know, I go back and forth. And then I went ahead and I just uh, taped that part, so that's covering that. It needs a little more glue there. And then I kept this one open. Um, I'll do that later. I just want to get to this other wing, so... Uh, but I have the, the wing suspended on hooks here in my garage, if you can see it. You kind of see it there, and it's paracord. So that should be okay. And then this side, and again, I got 175 pound rated um, hooks to go into the studs up there. So I did some stud finding, and there it is. So my garage door opener is pretty smooth, so I don't think it's gonna move it, but it's pretty cool having the wing above my head because that's how it's gonna be in the plane. Uh, now I'm gonna use the, the wood of the crate and just put the crate down and left wing. Let's do it, let's do this.